Today, we take you to the lap of the hill known as Govardhan, the king of mountains, Giriraj, the hill that Lord Krishna lifted with the little finger of his left hand for seven days and seven nights. Here we see the beautiful kund, known as Dhan Nivartan Kund. So we're just down the ways from uh, Dhan Gati, where Krishna taxed the gopis. And they went to Govindakun to sell their butter and yogurt and ghee to Bhaguri Rishi and all the munis there for the sacrifice. So Krishna was feeling rather uh, proud that he taxed the gopis of their butter, milk and yogurt. So he was walking along the hill and all the gopis, they were thinking that we have to get back at this fellow. So he was walking at this place called Dhani Vartan Kund just not far from our Iskan Govardhan. And suddenly, from behind the hill, all the gopis came out, millions of gopis came out from behind the hill. Huh? Just like you see in the cowboy and Indian movies in America, all the Indians come out from behind the hill and ambush the cavalry. So they all came charging down the hill and they grabbed Krishna and all his friends and they tied their sikhas in the tree and they began to slap their faces like this. And Krishna was so embarrassed and all the cowboy boys were crying. And Mother Manga was said, why do I associate with these people? I'm a Brahmin, they can't do this to me. Hmm? And finally Radharani came uh, and she told Krishna, the only way we'll let you free is if you get down on your hands and knees and bow down at my lotus feet and beg forgiveness for this taxing business. So Krishna, he looked at all his friends, they untied his sikha from the tree, he got down on his hands and knees, and he bowed down at Radharani's feet, and he begged forgiveness. So Nivartan means to return. Just like in Gita, Krishna says, one who goes to my abode, na Nivartante, he doesn't return. So here, the tax was return. So this is da Nivartan Kund. Hare Krishna. So standing here on the side of Govardhan Hill reminds me of a beautiful verse by Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. He prays, Nija Nikita Niwasam Dehi Govardhan Atvam. Niwas, we know, means residence. Just like sometimes we see somebody names their house Lakshmi Niwas, Shiv Niwas, Radha Niwas. So Niwas means residence. Nija means your very own, and Nikit means very close. So Nija Nikit and Niwasam Dehi. Oh Govardhan, please give Govardhana Tvam. Oh you Govardhan, just give me residence very close by your very own side. Nija Nikit and Niwasam Dehi Govardhana Tvam. Chaitanya Charitamrit mentions that when Mahaprabhu did Prikama of Govardhan, he had one special mantra from Srimad Bhagavatam, Venu Git. Hantaya Madriya Balahadi Dasa Bharjo Yadrama Krishna Charanam Sparasam Pramoda Manam Tanoti Sahagogana Yostayoryat while Mahaprabhu was doing Prikama of Giriraj, he was chanting that beautiful verse. Hanta means O. Hantayam Adri. Adri means hill. Hantayam Adri Abala 
Haridas Barjo, this is the best devotee of Krishna. Jam Rama Krishna Prasadanam Parasam Pramoda. Krishna and Balaram are always running and they're giving their charan sparse, the touch of their lotus feet on the hill. Therefore, he's Pramoda, he's very joyful. Manam Tanoti Sahago Ganeyostayuriyat. And he's giving service. Giriraj is giving service. To who? To the cowherd boys, to the cows, and to Yoriyat, those two, Krishna and Balaram. Uh, and what is he doing? Pani Yasuya Vasakandara Kanda Mulai. He's giving Pani water, he's giving grass for the cows, and he's giving caves to hide when it's too hot or it's raining, and he's giving so many fruits and roots to all the cowherd boys, because Brijbasi boys, they're hungry 24 hours a day. So this was the beautiful mantra that Mahaprabhu uh, chanted while he did his prakama of Giriraj. Oh, Giriraj Maharaj Ki Jai. Now, we're entering the lovely palace of the king of Chhatrapur, who built it by the side of Govardhan Hill, which is now known as Bhaktivedanta Ashram. This palace was acquired by Srila Tamal Krishna Goswami and Srila Giriraj Maharaj, who remodeled it into a very peaceful ashram for the devotees. Now we're entering the room where the king of Chhatrapur used to hold court, but now has been turned into a beautiful temple for two Govardhan Shilas known as Krishna and Balaram. And just beside their altar are this gorgeous Gornitai. From the roof of the ashram, we get the most exquisite view of Sri Giriraj. On the roof of the ashram, the king had a special room where he would sit and looking out the window, he would chant his japa to Giriraj. Now the devotees have added a small goshala with many nice cows. In the garden, among a grove of almost a dozen tamal trees, we have the Puspa Samadhi of His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj.
We hope you relish today's Yatra to Sri Giriraj Govardhan. We hope to see you in another wonderful place in Braj. Hare Krishna.